occupation. So yeah. if you are coming from far, you don't need to know anyone. Yeah. Yes, even right now in class we have people that who have come direct from Kenya, others from Iraq. You need not to worry about the job because we're going to find you a job. And we have the network of the providers, we have network of agencies. Nani a green card? Sasa niko kwa shure ya Mr. Jenga. The experience so far has been wonderful. Unapata mafunzo mazuri. Home aid training center. But most of the challenges, there are people who want to discredit what we are doing. Alright, so when you reach here, HMAT is just behind here. This is Homemade Training Centre, LHC. You just take the stairs, it's just one stair, then room 202, then you'll find us there. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Kenya Marekani. Today I'm telling you we have an extraordinary story of a Kenyan who, against all odds, has started a multi-million company that can help you. Especially if you're moving from Kenya, this is the one place you need to stop by. We have uh, caregiving training, we have a lot more, and we're going to be learning all that in this video, because I'll be talking to Professor, uh, Reverend, Archbishop, uh, Dr. Njenga, Stephen Njenga. So, please, welcome to Kenya Marikanian. Remember to subscribe. We are here along uh, South uh, 312 Street and uh, against the 14th Avenue South. Okay? When you're here, you will see Homemade Training Center. It's a big, big, big uh, placard that you can be able to see. So, uh, you just enter here and we'll be able to help you. So, Ladies and gentlemen, Kenya Marikani is known for supporting Kenya. Let's buy Kenya, Jenga Kenya. And today we are showing you one of our own. Come with me. Come, let's show you. Yeah. As you can see, Najibunia Kuom Kenya. Just know that you can come here. Yes. That's the place. The place you need to be. Keep it here for more. Kwa jina na idua Gareb Juma Sale, na tukea Tanzania. Nimekuja Marekani kwa kusoma. Nipo hapa nimepata fusa kusoma katika chuo cha home ed, uh, home ed, home ed training ya home care ndani ya Washington State. Uh, nimepata nimepata nafasi ya kuja kusoma hapa kwa hivyo na opportunity nyingi sana nimepata hapa mafunzo mengi ya home care kwa hivyo na washauri wa Tanzania wenzangu wakihitaji kuja hapa Marekani kuja kupata mafunzo waje ndani ya city ya Washington state ili wapate mafunzo ndani ya home aid training ambayo ipo chini ya Dr. Njenga Unapata mafunzo mazuri na mawazo mengi zaidi ya hapa ndani ya ndani ya Marekani mji wa Washington State. Asante sana. My name is Victor Wasonga Ochin. I'm a Kenyan. Uh, currently I'm uh, in the United States and I'm a student at uh, Home Care uh, Training Institute. Uh, so basically the experience so far has been wonderful. Uh, home Care Training Institute has not only welcomed me, but it has also made me adapt to the environment uh, uh, because changing environment coming from Kenya and uh, learning in the United States is a, quite a, a, a challenging uh, experience. So uh, to this end, I've, uh, I've experienced a welcoming from this institute so far. And uh, I would also want to encourage anyone who is in the United States or planning to come to the United States that this is a wonderful place. This is a place that uh, welcomes each and every person, be it from Tanzania, be it from Kenya. And uh, I will welcome each, uh, each one of you to uh, visit our facility. Thank you. Yes, now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm here. I'm telling you, we have 
they always say that a jack of all trades is a master of none. But I discovered that that's not the full saying. The full saying is, a jack of all trades is better than a master of one. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and we have here the bishop himself. Yes. Karibu sana. Asante sana. Yes. Bwana Gere wanina mkenya marekani. Dio hiyo. Uh, I'm excited for your visit yes. uh, to our offices mm -hmm. and uh, we appreciate what you're doing. You know in a song, uh, there are many people, components that make up a song yes. and sometimes we forget those who play the piano, those who people who play the keyboard, yes. who make that song to the become song. complete. So thank you for coming. Yes. Yes. yes, yes, absolutely. Yes. So uh, I'm really excited even by your achievements. Yes. And uh, they say a journey of a thousand miles yes. begins all with one. Yes. So let's know who's Bishop and what he does. Oh. First of all, with the introduction. Oh, thank you very much, uh, Bonagheri. Uh, my name's uh, Professor uh, Stephen Jenga. I'm also a bishop. I was actually I was ordained as a, a bishop 2003 when I was in Bible College in uh, in Denmark. Uh, I had gone there to study diploma in theology. And uh, after I completed the diploma in theology, I moved back to Kenya, enrolled at International Bible College, uh, where I did bachelor's degree in biblical studies. From there I moved I, uh, to teaching, where I taught uh, high school in Kitui Township. Hey, yes, yes, wow. yes, yes. Kutoka, kutoka, kutoka abroad, mm -hmm. kind of back Kitui. Nikafunza uko high school for five years. Nikatoka hapo and then I moved to Botswana. I taught in Botswana for five years. Where? Yes. Wow. So teaching five years uh, from, 20, from 2010 to 2013, I was teaching in Botswana. Mm. And then uh, the ministry that ordained me as a, as a bishop, it's called Day Spring Ministries International. My primate is in uh, Brookhaven, Mississippi, Dr. Gary Buckman. So they are the one who moved me to Arizona, yeah. 2013. And then the bishop who was there was supposed to move to uh, New Mexico, but he didn't move after the, after the meeting. So I talked to a friend who was in Washington and I moved here. Uh, October 2013, that's when I moved to Washington State. And based on having coming from Hubble background, when I came, my first investment was to go to school. I know there are many people don't uh, don't believe when I tell them, but my first secret was to invest in school. I went to Covenant Bible Seminary in Redwood, where I did master's degree uh, in divinity. Then I joined the, the ministry that I, I work with. They have a university called the Spring Christian University. I joined them for a, a doctorate in philosophy, majoring in a Christian and biblical counseling, which I graduated, uh, uh, which I graduated 2018. Uh, you can see that gap from 2014 mm -hmm. to 2018. Yeah. And then I went back to Covenant Bible Seminary and I did doc doctorate in ministry, mm -hmm. which I completed uh, in, uh, uh, in 2020, June 2020, that's when I graduated. And then still I went to school uh, uh, to learn about becoming a community instructor. Community instructor, uh, you are trained by the government, by the state of Washington. And I started as a facility instructor. Facility instructor means that you're only authorized to train the caregivers working in your home. That is why I started 2017. Yeah. And then I was upgraded to fully community instructor. So I started training caregiver, this caregiving job uh, 2017 uh, in October. Uh, and that is what I've been doing. And that was not enough. Um, I wrote my first book, Realizing Your Potential God's Way, uh, in the year 2016. I remember the first time you came. Yes, yes. You I, I, I gave you I this book. I gave you this book. Yeah. So I wrote my first book, Realizing Your Potential God's Way, and I, re I also went ahead and wrote another one, Marriage Made in Heaven. Talks mm -hmm. about relationship. Yes. And then, uh, then 2019. 
Uh, I was employed as a youth pastor in Lakewood mm -hmm. uh, in, a, in a white church uh, called Stellacom Community Church. And that's when I wrote this book about the youth, nurturing the next generation for God. Yes. And uh, I got two more coming up, one for the Hasura Nation. <laughs> wow, yes. you are not stopping. Yes, I'm not stopping. And uh, it does not mean that the road has been e easy. Mm -hmm. uh, when, you, when, you, when you're working hard and you know where you were coming from, uh, you, you, there are challenges that you face, but you don't focus on the challenges. You focus on the success more. And one thing that I am proud of, anybody that has associated with me has become something. And you know where I'm coming from. Yes. Uh, Home Care Aid Training Center, I'm the managing director where we train all 75 hours. We train CPR and first aid. We train basic life support for healthcare providers. Maybe, maybe, maybe for somebody who does not understand, five yes. hours. Because yes, you seven. are also talking about your school. Yes, so yes, yes. Understand. Okay, all right. So let me talk about, I have several companies that, uh, that I manage. And one of them is Home Care Aid Training uh, Center, LLC. This is uh, an approved school by Department of Social and Health Services. Yes. And uh, we concentrate on preparing health professionals to go and work in adult family homes, to work in hospitals, agencies, personal care services, individual provider, and all that. Jitago uh, Isaac Duet Kenya, the the Washington, the Washington, Seattle, Washington, state. Na the other marriage, the training area, the other marriage area, eight. Home Aid Training Center. Na ne ne ra to man menya maor maingi ma korwati ne dera menya mi kareya America na kumenya maor maingi ma herodi kia ne odwa mi kareya furio wa America na ne dera igwa de 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 encourage di mono ne odwa ogwa dera ona well I mean ne kuringa na noria maor maor mi kareite. This is our skills room. We have our skills room, the student practice skills from this point. Um, CPR, first aid, transferring grants, use of gate belt, child CPR. Uh, automated external defibrillator, the some of things that uh, that we do. So for one to be quali to qualify to work in um, in a, in those areas, health professional, you have to meet the requirement. And the requirement is you take the classes. Mm -hmm. The classes you take, or what popularly people call 75 hours, is you take a class called orientation and safety, five hours. You take a class called mental health, capable of caregiving, eight hours. Dementia level one, capable of caregiving, eight hours, yes. and core basic training. So if you add those hours, five plus eight plus eight plus fifty-four, that is how you add up with the seventy-five hours. Yes, that is what we call seventy-five hours. Which is the basic of becoming a nurse. Yes, right? yeah, you yeah, you become a nurse, a nurse aid, or you 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 become a nurse aid satisfied or something like that. And then from there you add CPR, AED and first aid, you add nurse delegation core, you add nurse delegation focus on diabetes and then food workers card then you're all good with those tools yeah. uh, we also help you to find a job mm. so when you join our school you enroll it's one stop shop yes yes you get everything so we help you wow yes so so what what was the reason behind uh, starting the school let's start the school first okay so starting the school uh, most of the company and the things that i do uh, i do out of a problem so when i experience a problem or a challenge uh, I'll go back and do research. Let's say, for example, when I began this school, I had to drive to Tacoma to go and take a class myself around 20, around 2016. Yeah. So when I went, uh, I found this was a, a physical address for a home, and I knock on the door. A man appeared and told me, sorry, my wife is not training today. <laughs> 
and I was up to present the certificate to my employer the following day. Then I came back and researched what, what does it take to do this class so that I can offer these classes and that's how I started the school. So we teamed up with some other three partners uh, whom later I bought the school from them uh, so that I could own the, the total shares of the school 100%. Mm -hmm. Yes. Wow. So, so that's uh, that is homemade training home, homemade training yeah. which is where we are right this is where we are we just and this is a new building this is a new big building where we are we are, we were so limited we by by DSHS because we were only tra allowed to train like 20 students per month so um, so we we got this building where we can now uh, accommodate 100 students and we have eight other offices that are going to house our other companies because beside home care aid training center we have other companies that we run namely yeah one of them is notary services notary services means that uh, i'm a public notary i've gone to school learned and studied how to become a notary public and therefore if you need the documents maybe you're buying property from kenya or you need some document that need to be certified legally or maybe you want to do wedding uh, not the church way but in a civil way yeah. I, I can also be able to do that so that company is called Queen Link Notary Services and we are housed right here does that does that require a attorney or, or you, you, you don't qualify yeah to... I qualify mm -hmm. I qualify to certify document to make it legal Wow. Yes, because some of the uh, so some documents to be uh, to be allowed in court, they require to be notarized by somebody who is authorized to do that, and we got a license to do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So if you come, maybe you're buying uh, property, or you want to, you know, you want to have an agreement between someone, you know, it will not go. It, it's not going to be admitted to the court or become acceptable by institutions if it doesn't bear the the state of Washington notary, yes, notary stamp, yes. yes. Office manager's office. This is the office for the manager. So when they come in, uh, they are attended. They are attended from this point. Ita was Cora, Duati. Jukete ku Washington na drado mera sukuru ya Home Aid Training Center na ni tutai ya Mr Jenga na ni tutai deti ya Muno kuma kulia wito Kenya ni todo wa madi na madema kula tu okuo ni tu nete otai diyo kule sukuru ino ya Mr Jenga ni tu dome te mau du maige mali amagi tu otai diya ku Washington kana ku Seattle na ni tura ni tura na ni tugu otai deka tu aru mirera olia tu dome te ku todo tu mete ku tu ku na madi na maige ni tu ni tu ku te ideka ku ku kwa Mr Jenga na ni tu te ideka te ona wa tiga te ni tu ni tu ku te ideka na tu kene ide ido mugi yake yeah scientific just give a small example of the the things for example a Kenya coming from Kenya the things they might need to notarize yes let's say for example you have lost your passport so the, there is a, a form an affidavit form that the government of Kenya requires uh, requires to be notarized in order for them to do the replacement of a lost passport. That is, I have had some people come; uh, their documents have been uh, have been stolen, or they have lost their document. They need to replace the the passport, and they they need some someone who will understand because not other places that you go that people they will understand that uh, you need the services for notary public. And yeah, yeah. Okay, so I, that's an example. I, uh -huh. The other one also is for marriage, where we have had people who, when you do a marriage application, and these days they are done online. So the form that you apply, uh, whether King County or Pierce County, that form needs to be notarized as well. And that's why I also come in. I help people in applying for marriage license application. I will notarize for them. They don't have to go and, uh, and, and look for notary services elsewhere. We also have, uh, we are also a cooperative bank agent. So if you want to open a diaspora account, 
uh, those forms when you fill the forms you need to come with the KRA pin uh, uh, Washington ID or, or an ID from the state that you come from you also need to have uh, like Kenyan ID if you have one and a copy of a passport yeah they need to be notarized all those documents so instead of you now you come fill the application then you go running to look for notary public boom we finish for you. You fill the application, we notarize, we submit your application, and within a week you have your account. Yes, yes, wow. yes. That's fantastic. Yes. A one stop shop. Yes, and also we have a Western Union. We are Western Union agent. Yeah, of course. Kenya, uh, Kenyans in America, are yes. the first cash crop yes. in Kenya. So yes. they need that. They need that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, and I know you have tap tap, so. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I, I'm not sure we'll be partnering so that. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be partnering on 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 tap tap then also so uh when you want to send money uh kenya maybe you want to send money directly to your account you want to send some money in uh, mpesa uh we, you we also have those services so we can also be able to help you those kenyans who are coming you don't have bank account you have money sometimes you go to people you tell them they will send and they will take a whole day and money is needed in kenya uh, quickly so you can just come within minutes then the money is in your in your relative phone wow, wow yes wow. So, yes so those are how many you, you, i want you to mention all your yes all Does my businesses yes we have uh, i've said that we we guide people in book publishing uh -huh. that is one and an example yeah. i have the books here i'm not talking about the road that i've not walked <laughs> yeah so we help people if you have ideas you have been dreaming to, to write books we can help you in that we have home care aid training center that's another that's, company i think that's the, the biggest that's the biggest thing yeah. yes home care aid training center llc uh and then we have notary services we do that we are cooperative agent we will help you to open account we have western uh we have western union uh money services mm -hmm. we we help you in that yeah. we also offer business consulting services if you want to start a company you want to open a church i've helped so many people to open churches <laughs> you know you, you, we guide you through the process yeah. so those are six there's six or seven there are six, uh, six, we, six. yes we have custom printing services if you want to print t-shirts uh we have a cup there actually uh, we have a cup there is a cup there where, whereby we print cups so if you want your name you have a birthday you have church event you want the name printed on the t-shirts you want name printed on the hats mm -hmm. or the cups we also help you that we have all the machines even if you want to go on your car Gary Wainainam, Kenya Marekan, we can we can do that too. That's your job. That's our job and we do that. Uh, the eighth one we have uh, a media. This media uh, we started uh, 2016 and we started with the radio. We started with the radio station. You remember when you visited yes. my home last time we were using a phone. <laughs> So we started a, a media by the name One Word Digital Media that has a, a radio that runs 24/7. We have a branch in Phoenix, Arizona, uh, which is uh, uh, which is chaired by Reverend Joseph Masharia. And this radio, we basically uh, we basically preach the word of God. Mm -hmm. We also have a motivational segment because people need uh, things beyond the Bible. Yeah. This is our studio here. Yeah, this is our studio. We broadcast from uh, we broadcast from this point, and uh, uh, we have different presenters who do that. And uh, missionary Philip Dowd was the one who was presenting the program. Uh, of course, we have some other we have some other presenters who also do the same. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So one word digital media, one word miracle radio, which you can find on Play Store. Uh, still running so this this is the studio yes hello hello thank you so much uh, for joining us to today uh, my name is a missionary philip the wood was susanna 
and uh, I thank God that I'm one of the presenters in the in this platform of One Word Digital Media, where we say that we unlock your potential 100%. As a presenter in this station, uh, I bring you a program every Friday, uh, namely Restoration Hour, where I speak and impart the spirit and the grace of the restoration onto our viewers. And I thank God that we have had testimonies, many testimonies of what God can do in the lives of people when they hear the word of God. Thank you so much. We welcome you to join us in this platform of One World Digital Media as uh, we have now new offices, we have new studio and we are enjoying the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. God bless you. Shalom, shalom. Beside for me preaching to you as an archbishop, I need to guide you how to fish. You know, otherwise if I depend for you, I preach for you, I, I only, then uh, I'll come asking you for the offering. And that's, they will end up hungry. And they will end up hungry. But if you come, I will empower you, uh, then that is going to, to, to take you somewhere. Mm -hmm. uh, our ninth company is called Integrity International uh, Bible Seminary. This was originally Northwest International Christian Seminary. You remember, yes. we graduated over 65 uh, uh, students, yes. you remember. And um, this college, uh, we've been training people and we continue doing that. And uh, we are anticipating, uh, right now, we are working on a program called, called La, man, uh, Learning Management System so that we can bring everything on board. Mm -hmm. So that is the program we are working right now yeah. uh, with the state because of the compliance, accreditation uh, and making the system easy because since COVID a lot of systems were, were really affected by the, by the COVID. Mm -hmm. So we are, we are upgrading yes. so we don't stop. We never stop. No stopping. Yes keep pushing on yes <laughs> wow that's so so let me let me ask you because uh homemade mm -hmm. is the biggest company yes. that you own here yes uh if somebody comes directly from kenya mm -hmm. what do they need to join uh, your com your your school now uh okay there is the money that you pay you need for training is uh, 500 dollars to pay for the 75 hours and then on top you will need uh, 90 dollars and you will need a hundred and that for the two class. So the total we can say with seven hundred and sixty dollars, you can you can train everything, and you need not worry about the job because we're gonna find you a job. And we have the network of the providers. We have network of agencies. You don't have to worry about uh, what you're going to do. And these days we also have got organized accommodation. So yeah. if you are coming from far, you don't need to know anyone. Yeah. Yes, even right now in class we have people that who have come direct from Kenya, others from Iraq. And we are not focusing on Kenyans only because we have had people from different nationality. In the class right now we have uh, someone from El Salvador. We have someone from Cameroon, yes. Tanzania. We have people from all walks of life who are coming for training. So you don't need Washington ID. You know some state you need uh, ID. Yeah. You don't need all those things. You just need. And beside also, beside the training and getting a job, we also help you to how to start life in America. You know, there's a lot of things when soft you come landing. to a new place that you need. No, yeah, soft landing. You don't have to go through, uh, you know, difficult road that you know people who who came before uh, passed through. Yes. Wow, you know, you know, it's been a, a challenge because some yes. people are misguided. And yes. Yes. You end up five years. Yes. Just circling Mount yes. Sinai. Yes. Yes. <laughs> You're not moving. Yes. Because of the people you met. Yes. So in other words, you're saying if they meet you the first thing. Boom. They are alive. Give them one, just a few months. They, those people, first of all, and people, they miss information. And thank you for mentioning that. If you come with a visitor's visa and somebody tells you to go and do CNA, it will not work for you. Because CNA is for the people who are going to work in facilities and hospitals and agencies. And you cannot be employed legally by those companies without work authorization social security number yeah so if you come direct from kenya somebody takes you to a cna school you have to look for dr jenga or go another school go another school because i'm not the only person over in training yeah and if you come you still pay the money you would have paid in the first place misinformation if you come to america and then somebody tells you to start practicing driving that is misinformation you first of all you don't have somewhere to sleep 
you don't have even a job. You need a living job. What you need is training. Yes. Go to a living job. Hide yourself whether it is six months. You look for money first. Yes. Then from there you can look for accommodation. You can look for a car. <laughs> and then, then you can start. You know, uh, then you can start thinking In about... In other words, when you come to the US, you have to sink first. You have to sink first. Like a seed. Yes. So yes. you can germinate. Yes. <laughs> I usually call it defrating. Mm -hmm. You have to defrate yourself. If you're a director in Kenya, maybe from the bank or professor or whatever, boom, you have to come down. I tell people, the only people who begin from the top going down, they succeed. They are the grave diggers. Those are the only people who succeed. Wow. Yes, going down. Yes. But normal life, you start small. You start small, and sometimes you don't have to tell people what you're doing back in Kenya. Mm. Then they begin crossing their mind and start feeling three tenth because America, it is not about some of the time because of education. There are people who came right from Marigiti, yeah. and right now they are very rich. Yes, they are not even nurses, but they just knew how to do things, worked, made their 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 scores better, uh, credit point scores better. They started one adult family home. I know people who have so many adult family home. They have not gone to school. Yeah. If you come as, as a professor and you are employed by them and you start telling them you are a professor, man, it won't make sense. It won't make sense, you know? Yes, yes. <laughs> absolutely. Yes. Kwa majina mi naitwa Winnie Wajiro Chokoro from Kenya. Nimekuja hapa juzi from Kenya na nilipata green card. Ni sasa niko kwa shule hii ya Mr. Jenga anafundisha mambo ya homemade training center nimekuja kusoma ndio nielewe bila mambo inaenda huko America alafu ndio nianze kutafuta kazi yes wow that's fantastic so uh, uh, what we are saying is if you come here you land here yes. from Kenya directly yes there is a lot of benefit there is a lot of benefit whether you are moving from another state because what we are, and especially uh, African community, we are very mean when it comes to give the right information. You, you know, but when people, and, and, and I thank God because when you give people information, my, my shadow, the people who have associated with me, especially even home care aid training center, right now I can tell you of about three schools that have been born through this school. So you come, you work with me, I'll show you the way how to open yours. We are competing out there, yeah. but, but my cardo doesn't go off because I've yes. helped you. I don't become small. Mm -hmm. so, so when you help someone, you continue growing and God keeps on opening the doors for you. And uh, in a way, it's kind of helping other people too. To, we are supposed to multiply if, uh, one another. Yes. If you show someone how to open another Mukenya Marekani, you will not become small. You, you become something. Yeah. A, and that is because God did not create competition. God created dominion. Dominion is to, for you to specialize as Mkenya Marekani. I specialize as one word television. That is my line. No matter how much I try to compete with you, Gary, I can't. Yeah. I sometimes see the big shot you interview and I wonder how you do that. You know, and, and it's not from here. People need to know that even Kenya, you are doing very, very well. You, you know, it's where people come and like to see. Before you see someone, you need to listen to their story. Yes, because absolutely. if you don't understand their story, then yeah. uh, uh, you, may, you may have misinformation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow, that, that's amazing. Yes. And I still need to, uh, for you to take me around the, the complex so yeah, that we can yeah. see and can show people around. This is a huge complex. Yes, yes, yes. So uh, just recently in Kenya, mm -hmm. you were vetting the CSS. Yes, yes. And yes. you were asking them, what's your worth? <laughs> <laughs> wow, wow, wow. We talk of 10 companies. <laughs> uh, Vanagere, you know. <laughs> One of the troubles that I have is people seeing me in the media and, yeah. and, and talking a lot. But what I would say that uh, my, my net worth is God. <laughs> that would say that is my net worth. My net worth is God. <laughs> my net worth is God because, you know, I mean, it's only God's favor. It's not that I'm, not, I'm smart than other people, but God somehow, God favors me. That is number one. Number two, God protects me, God guides me, God gives me ideas on how to do business and how to do things. 
Um, and when I learned that secret, I decided to concentrate on the good. If I dream that I'm walking barefoot and I dream another one, I'm, I'm in the chopper. I'll yeah. cut the one I'm walking barefoot and I concentrate on the chopper because that is the, that is the success part. Yeah. But it doesn't mean that there have not been uh, things out there. They can be there, but my concentration is where am I going? That is what is important. How am I going to leave fit footprints in others and help somebody and promote someone? I feel so good when I see people that have helped their driving uh, and their, their life, they are good. And uh, recently, uh, Bishop Dr. Mark Karyuki was here for the yeah, education yeah. school. I think you saw that. And, and I believe that when you work with God's favor, that's all you need. Mm -hmm. Yeah. and. Uh, uh, and, and I believe that this is just the beginning. Yeah. This is just the beginning. It's just the beginning. We believe that uh, we are going to have a community center. Yeah, the, Where, the property you, you dedicated. Yes, you remember. Yes. Solana, right? yes, I yes. Remember. Yes, we are still on it. And uh, we plan to build a 300 capacity. Because one of the challenge uh, that we have is when we want to hold events, we have nowhere to hold the events. Um, uh, I'm looking at somewhere we can have we can build some afford affordable housing because accommodation is also a problem and especially for the people who are coming right from kenya they don't have anything yeah. some have come they have borrowed money and 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 you know they need they need somebody to help them mm -hmm. yes absolutely so where can guys find you where is this um located? yes we we actually move from where we moved is only three minutes most people they know just across the main road yeah, yeah. Uh, just uh, just ne next to pacific highway if you see H Mart, uh, we are just behind H Mart. Behind H Mart, you see 14th Avenue South. Just on the opposite, on the left, you will see a building with other ground parking. We are there. We have our signboard there, and our phone number. We have we have the we have the phone numbers that you can call like two plus one. Uh, 206 566 4676 and uh, we also have another phone number that one I have not really put it in in my mind we have an office number but you can always call that number we can always be able to help and respond to you and if you have challenges maybe you don't have somebody to drop you to the school we yeah. also we also pick up students from 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 transit center yeah so wherever you are you call us, tell us you are you are in transit center. We will come and pick you and bring you to the school and guide you and show you how to go home and wow. and make sure that you start life. Yeah, in America you can get lost. You can get lost. Yes, very fast. And I also got lost, by the way, when I was doing my CNA. I took a bus from Lakewood. I was staying in Lakewood. I got the bus took me to the opposite direction. The school where I was going the secretary left to whatever she was doing and it was knowing you can imagine she came and picked me and took me to school so i'm um, i'm one person who wears the shoe of a person if you're hungry i can identify with your hunger if you don't have money i i can identify with your with, with your situation when you don't have because i've been there yes i've been there uh, uh gary yes wow. yes that's amazing uh we're not uh, calling it Done. Mm -hmm. We still have a tour of this place. It's yes. a huge, huge place. And mm -hmm. especially for a Kenyan immigrant, yes. it's a big salute for you, sir. Thank you. We Thank appreciate you, you mm -hmm. for the work you're doing. What are some of the challenges you go through, first of all, before we even. Uh, um, first of all, I said I'm a man of God. Yeah. <laughs> I'm an archbishop. And uh, what, most of the challenges, there are people who want to discredit what we are doing. Uh, they have doubt and doubting Paul Thomas is there. They are even from the time of the Bible. They are people to, ah, is this training? I don't think this guy is doing training. It's not legit. It's not legit. I, I mean, uh, America is not Kirenyaga Road, you know, <laughs> where you can cook in a document, you know? <laughs> yeah, so those are some of the challenges. But we don't have to go proving to everyone the truth and what is not truth, what is the half truth and what is the true truth. The absolute truth. Uh, yes, they are, you know, yeah, and that, that, thank you for mentioning that. We have two truths. Yeah. Relative truth, that is absolute. truth based on what you believe. Because somebody telling you this is a truth should tell you the other so, side. Uh, Hi, I think, what, what's this now? This is the lunch. 
lunch break area. Mm -hmm. They want to eat food, and also this is like our reception area. Okay. So when people come, like waiting area. Waiting area. So mm -hmm. this is why they wait to be attended from the office. Let's yes. go. So this is another office. We are just here for like three, three weeks. So we are still unpacking. So mm -hmm. that's another office. This is another one. This is another office. This is another office too. Uh, this is another office. This this is my office actually. Mm -hmm. um, th this is another office. This is my office. We offer was, and we also actually take passport photos. Oh wow! Yes, if you want some photos, then you can see an example of them here. Office here. This is our computer room. Um, this is our computer room and also our storage, our storage for the students' records and the books. So all the records because we are required by the state to uh, keep the student records.